November 2025 became the most explosive month of Solar Cycle 25 so far. Multiple X-class flares, back-to-back -back eruptions, and powerful CMEs shook the solar system, some strong enough to trigger radio blackouts here on Earth. But why is the sun suddenly this active? Is the cycle reaching its peak? And could we be heading toward Carrington-level violence again? Here's what we know and what to expect next. To understand what's happening on the sun, we need to start with the solar cycle itself. Every 11 years, the sun goes through a rise and fall in magnetic activity, a natural rhythm known as the solar cycle. As the cycle builds, the sun's magnetic field becomes tangled and unstable. Its north and south poles weaken, drift, and eventually flip. That reversal drives everything, sunspots, solar flares, and massive CME eruptions. Sunspots are the first warning sign. They're regions of intense magnetic pressure, areas where the surface is twisted so tightly that energy breaks free in violent bursts. The more sunspots we see, the closer we are to solar maximum. The peak of the cycle, when the sun becomes more active, more unstable, and far more explosive. And right now, all signs point to a cycle rising faster and hotter than expected. When we look at the sun, sunspots might seem like small dark patches, but they're anything but quiet. Each sunspot is a region of extreme magnetic tension, like twisted rubber bands storing enormous amounts of energy. As these magnetic fields tighten and collide, the pressure becomes too much to contain. That's when the sun snaps. Magnetic loops break open, releasing bursts of radiation and superheated plasma. These explosions are solar flares, and the biggest ones can disrupt radio signals, satellites, and even power grids here on Earth. In November 2025, we saw some of the most complex sunspot groups of the entire cycle. Massive active regions where tangled magnetic fields triggered back-to-back X-class flares and powerful CME eruptions. Sunspots may look small, but they are the gateways to the sun's most violent events. When magnetic fields snap, the sun unleashes two very different kinds of explosions. Solar flares are flashes of radiation, bright, fast, and over in minutes. They race outward at the speed of light and mark the moment a sunspot finally releases its tension. But coronal mass ejections are something else entirely. A CME is a huge wave of charged plasma launched into space at millions of kilometers per hour. Unlike flares, CMEs carry real mass, rivers of particles that travel for days before reaching Earth. When they arrive, our magnetic field takes the hit. It bends, stretches, and redirects the incoming storm, creating shimmering auroras that can reach far beyond the polar regions. In November 2025, several CMEs followed moments after X-class flares, a sign of intense magnetic instability inside massive active regions. Flares are the flash. CMEs reshape the space around our planet. When a coronal mass ejection reaches Earth, it doesn't hit the surface. It hits our magnetic field. The magnetosphere acts like a shield, bending and stretching as the incoming particles push against it. Most of that energy is redirected safely back into space, but some of it slips through near the poles, where Earth's magnetic field lines open into space. When those charged particles collide with atoms high in the atmosphere, they create shimmering auroras, rippling curtains of green, red, and violet light. During strong geomagnetic storms, those auroras can spread far beyond the polar regions, painting the night sky across continents that almost never see them. Solar Cycle 25 wasn't supposed to look like this. Early forecasts suggested a relatively mild cycle, similar to, or even weaker than, Solar Cycle 24. But the sun has gone in a very different direction. Sunspot numbers have climbed higher than many predictions, and they're appearing in larger, more complex groups than we saw in the previous cycle. These tangled regions fuel stronger flares, faster CMEs, and far more magnetic instability. So where are we now? Most scientists agree we're inside the solar maximum window, a broad period when the sun can erupt at any moment. But solar maximum isn't a single spike on a graph. It's a plateau of heightened activity, and cycles often deliver multiple peaks before they decline. That means cycle 25 may still have powerful events ahead, 
even as it begins its slow path toward the next reversal. How extreme could Solar Cycle 25 become? Storms as strong as the Carrington event are extraordinarily rare, far beyond anything the sun has shown this cycle. But during maximum, stronger flares and fast CMEs will always remain possible. Most of these storms pose little danger. Earth's magnetic field absorbs the impact, and the result is often nothing more than auroras spreading far beyond the poles. What happens next is the natural rhythm of our star, a plateau of unpredictable outbursts, followed by a slow decline into the next cycle. The sun is restless, powerful, and constantly rewriting the forecast. And cycle 25 is proving that even an ordinary maximum can still take us by surprise.